Hello and welcome to THD Online TV, your GAMS Step Up Celebrity Show here on THD Online TV, like we do every week here. We come and talk to people, um, your celebrity, the people who make you happy, the people who give you the real entertainment in the music industry. And this week we have a special guest, um, you know, I don't think we need to introduce him. When you see him, you will know exactly who we're talking about. But like I always said before, the beginning of any show, this is your baby TV, you know, in town, online TV. So just subscribe, you know, share our videos, like our videos, and send us your comment. What do you think about our videos? We are here for you to make you happy, to, to give you what you need. Hey, you can see in the building. Thank you, Aji. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Well, I, like I said, this is ENC, the number last thing. You know, <laughs> number What have you been to, man? Man, been working all the time. I mean, um, for us, this is our lifestyle. We are on it every day, you know, every day. Things have been, you know, improving on different ways, you know. Yeah. Somebody will watch your number last thing before, you know, <laughs> and now. Well, yeah, somebody watching ENC for the first time, mm -hmm. give us a little bit about who's ENC. I mean, um, Ian is a Gambian youth. Um, I fell in love with music. I fell in love with the artistry of music and creating something, bringing ideas to life. I used to love painting and I've been doing that since primary school. I used to draw on blackboards in every classroom when I was going to school as my hustle. And teachers be giving me a trans one tala. <laughs> and I started collecting those little crumbs, you know, since I was a kid. So art, art started um, giving me hope in life. Art was like um, a sanctuary for me. I feel I feel comfortable when I'm up close with my ideas. I feel up close with myself when I'm when I have an idea in my head. I'm putting it on paper. You know what I'm saying? Sketching. When I look at Haji, I like when I want to draw Haji. Mm -hmm. I feel so up close with my ideas, and that, that that that's fun to me. That's passion. That's something I love doing. You know what I mean? Up until um, later on the latter part when music came. You know what I mean? I, music has always been part of my life, yeah. actually, but I never thought I was going to be a professional artist at that age because of my family line mm -hmm. being so religious, you know? Mm -hmm. But, I mean, music took me. Started writing on every scrap of paper, you know? And then I developed that. I took both of them. I mean, the, the drawing, the painting, and the artist part of it, the, the, the singing part of mm -hmm. it, right? And today, I'm a professional graphic designer as a full-time job. I have a company called World of Entertainment. Wow. And then... ENC as an artist and as a DJ professionally. So, yeah, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, we, you know, sometime in the early days, we know you as one of the hottest young DJs back in the days at West Coast Radio, yeah. 95 points. Yeah. And, you know, that, that channel used to be... Man. Very, you know, others give you the, this, this title when you were young, the king of dancehall. Yeah. Man, I came a long way, man. Uh, let me use this opportunity and say thanks to Uncle Peter for allowing us to use that platform to, to, to amplify our voices, to show our talents and express our feelings. And then up until today, man, music has always been a part of me. I started DJing since primary school, like wow. doing these little footers at the street <laughs> corners. You know, we, we love the music. Yeah. We, we, we wanted to be close to the music, you know. And then... At the time we were on the radio, West Coast has always been that number one radio station. So it was, to me, I look at myself, I'm like, oh, today I'm on West Coast. Thanks to my boss, g Fire, my friend from, yeah. from my classmate from day one, he, he, gave, he brought me on the radio. And then, you know, I, I, I took advantage of the opportunity. And then that contributed a lot to my career as an artist. It taught me a lot of things about media, about self-expression, about communication, about language itself and everything communication is very important in everything you do so um radio played a very huge role in helping me to communicate and express myself so yeah man all those things inclusive djing yeah. doing the music and you know what i mean it's amazing yeah. alhamdulillah but you know let's let's get back into the scene like you know mm -hmm. you were doing djing mm -hmm. you know many people fall in love with the way your style of how you present yourself yeah. on a radio station all yeah. of a sudden bam this guy is up there, yeah. you know, singing. Yeah. How did that all start? Man, um, I've been singing before I got on the radio. I've got a I've got couple of big songs. I've done the Nyamba Kawasis and the Monia Femek and stuff. I came on radio on, in 2009, mm -hmm. right? That was just at the end of Gamsel Chart Buster. That was a TV competition which I was a part of with most of the big names in the country. You know what I mean? And I made it to the top 10. And that, that was a platform that, 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 ex, that exposed me to, let's say, um, the entire Gambia, because it, it was on the national TV. Yeah. Anybody who was watching TV at the time. So um, I took advantage of the opportunities that were available for me. 
that's the person I am. I mean, don't don't underrate any little thing well, that comes your way as a youth. Um, find a way how to make good use of it. Express yourself, do the right thing, do your job and move and let people do what they have to do, you know? So any platform that I go on, I just go and do my thing. I do my, I do justice and, and move. Like today I'm here with Haji. It don't matter if this channel is a baby channel. Every channel is a channel. You don't know who's watching. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to honor your interview and come and, and chat with you, reason with you. Regardless, today someone is going to watch me that, that never knew me before. Yeah. You, know, you never know. You know what I'm saying? So we keep the humility, we keep it humble, we keep it low, and, and just do what you have to do as a person, as, as an artist, as a DJ. I'm still DJing. I haven't just been on the deck for, all, for yeah. a while since I came from my Europe tour. Yeah, yeah but um, that DJ is still in me. That's a job I love so much. Hey, yeah. For anyone who knows ANC knows that that's the best of ANC. I love that DJing. job. I love we'll come that. to talk about your European tour a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. But let's still stay with your early days. You know, mm -hmm. you know somebody who come from a family that perhaps will not want, you know, to yeah. see you that early age mm -hmm. getting into music. Yeah. But, you know, you keep that composure and, you know, create the environment for yourself. Right. Because that is why now no one can say no because they have seen that this is something that yeah. you love, you are doing. Yeah. How do you convince the environment? I mean, it to me it was it was too it was a difficult situation because it was it, it was a thing where you can't go to your parents and say, I wanna do music because they're gonna say no. no. So what are you going to do? You don't just want to just go the wrong way. You don't want to go and do what they don't like. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, if I talk to these people, they're not going to allow me to do music. I want to do music because I, I think um, that's, one, that's, that's the life for me. Yeah. At some point in time, everybody just have to choose what you want to do in life. right? Just make sure you do it the right way. One thing though that was me from day one, my parents know how serious I am in everything I do. So that was one thing that could convince them. They know if this guy does music, he's going to do it rightfully, carefully, and he's going to make it. Yeah. They know that that's been in me since as a kid. You know what I mean? So I was like, okay, I'm going to do my music. I'm not going to go talk to my parents. Yeah. But I've never, I've, I haven't been living with them. I've always lived alone, yeah. like as a hustler. I've been grinding outside as a Gambian youth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I take my little pukus and rent. And you know what I mean? Yeah. Do my thing as a ghetto youth. I've been grinding. Yeah. I was like, I want to do this music. Until one day, mm -hmm. they see me on TV and they know the nigga is doing good or this boy is doing good. I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. that's going to be sometime you can't tell him to stop because he's doing good already. So that's, that's what happened. In early 2005, six, my songs being banging on the radios. You know what I mean? Like, thanks to KWT Radio. By mm -hmm. then, um, many people don't know now, there was a radio called KWT. KWT That's yeah. what turned to Afri Radio Afri now. Radio, yeah. You know what I'm saying? KWT played a, a huge role. And then the Fireman, Fireman and g yeah. and they have DJ Spirit and FMB Brickham at that time. It was like an anthem on the radios. And the songs started banging. That's how I made my name. So by then, it was, it was already late to tell as a stop oh. singing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Up until date, along the way, man, they just had to accept me for um, who I am. Mm -hmm. you, you know, music scene is very difficult at the time when you're coming because yeah. I recall you have big names who are untouchable at the time. But when that song came, Nyamba Karas, mm -hmm. people start asking, "Who is this guy?" Yeah, that's the time you start, you know, hitting the airways in this country. Yeah, but how do you survive in that? Because you know, it's very difficult at the time to I get know. yourself into that music. I know, especially in dancehall, because that time reggae and hip hop was what was more popular. Reggae, hip hop, and then some bala. And this was the era of the Jalex, yes. the Singates, the Njaibi, the Oluganda, the to the rebellions, yeah. you know what I mean? Backtracking to the Maslabis. Yeah. It was like, it was time for some new faces to come in. And I mean, then everybody used to have this idea in dancehall. I have to diss somebody to make a name. I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. Come and do good music and make your name. You know what I mean? I was like, everybody's focusing 100% on reggae. I can do reggae, but I, I think dancehall is easy for me to express myself. And music is all about expression. Yeah. Choose what is easier for you to express yourself with and use that one. Dancehall is too easy for me to express myself. Like, yo, all right. But now, what kind of songs? I've been recording music, I've been doing mm -hmm. songs where, you know, fair on the radio, but when I thought of songs like Nyamba Kawas, I'm like, I want to do 
People are singing about Nikes, Air Forces. People mm. are singing about Timberlands. I wanna, I wanna sing about Nyamba, man. Mm. I told this to my sister, and she started, <laughs> She was like, "Biwa Nyabi le man." I'm good. Because I'll be singing home like I'll be disturbing everybody. I'm like, what the hell is over here? I'm like, oh, okay. You know, if you got it, tell you what I'm Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, yeah. I was like, I'm going to do a song called Nyamba Kwas. Yes. Before I recorded that song, it became a hit. And how? Because this was when Afrisel was doing their summer beach. Yes. At the beach, you know, yeah. Taranga Beach. Can then, yeah, the yeah. Then there was no open mic festivals yeah. at the stadiums and this big. Yeah. That was the event that have like biggest crowds. So I was invited to come and perform. I performed Nyamba Kawas on that show. It was a freestyle on the beat. The crowd went mad. Mm-hmm. And I remember, man, they had to book me again for the following week to come and perform that song again. When I got off the stage, Jalex came. Jalex was like, Nogi, you try to record that song bad. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm a good listener. Yeah, yeah I, you know what I'm saying? I knew that song was going to make it. But when I have people like Jalex, and they might even remember this, you know. They might remember this, but I remember well, everything. Remember yeah. Everything. I was like, I'm going to record this song. Shy boy was like, boy, can I record a song, you know? Mm-hmm. This was on a Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. He was like, can I record a song, Monday, I went to studio. Just day after that performance, I recorded this song. Wow. I went back home. Before I knew the song was mixed, DJ Queens, he went to the studio and heard this song. He took it to the radio. So before I had the song myself, yeah. the song was outside. outside already. I mean, I'm Amazing. like, I'm like, what? I was sleeping, I remember, because I've been DJing in WOW. Yeah. I, I have tough times. I've yeah. been DJing like four times a week, so I, I get exhausted, right? So one, one day I was, I, was, I was sleeping. Someone called me during the day. Hey, boy, your new tune, bad. I'm like, what wow. new tune? <laughs> I don't even know it new tune. I was like, Nyambak. I'm like, it's not out yet. It's like, no, it's on the radio. I'm like, how? So I tuned to West Coast Quincy was playing. I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, Mama, we made it, man. Yeah, you know yeah. yeah that's how Nyambak was came. It went viral. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a big song and it's still a big song. And Nyambak was still give oh, me yeah. bookings. It's t- it's it's still giving me bookings. Still putting food on my table and you know what I mean? I, I don't know how that happens, but thank God. How do you put that together? You know. Writing music, especially mm. in this local language where you have to make people, you know, love what you what you say yeah. or what you singing. Yeah. You know, to ordinary person we say Nyamba Kawas. Yeah. What is this special about Nyamba Kawas? I know. How do you put them to make it a relic? I mean, I'm like I'm a guy that love fashion. Fashion has always been part of my thing. You know, I mean, I mean back then I'm like um, growing up from the rough neighborhoods, like from the poor families, and then. Rich people and poor, rich kids and the poor kids have always, Gambia has always been that way. Yeah. You can live in your mansion, your next door neighbor is a poor guy living in a, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But the Salibo days, we go together. Yes. These kids still go together. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's the neighborhood we, we grew up from, yeah. right? I'm like, I want to I wanna bridge a gap. I mean, if someone is wearing Nike Air Force or Timberland, the person is feeling comfortable. I can't afford that at the yeah. time, right? But what am I comfortable in? I'm, I'm in my Nyamba. Like this, what you have, you have to be comfortable with what you have. Nyamaka was came in as a so, so the song might sound funny, but the idea behind it is, is rich and realistic. You know, what I mean, it's like bridging the gap between the poor and the rich. It's like a uniform um, in, the, in, the, in the community. It don't matter who is rich or who is poor. We can all still wear what we have and feel comfortable in it in any occasion. And Nyamba was, Nyamba was a, that plastic shoe that the rich kid would wear and the poor kid would still wear. And we all feel good in it. So, man, it worked when I did the song. Nyambas, Nyamba were sold out in oh, yeah. markets. Oh, yeah. Everybody was Ven- doing that. Vendors, was when we did with school. Bro, vendors were marketing Nyamba. I wish that was today. Uh, you see what kind of branding we're going to do with it. But this was when we were young artists. We, we were just bringing our ideas out. But we learned from it. You know what I mean? Nyamba was sold out in markets. People were selling Nyamba. Number price went up. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was a big song, bro. If you were at the time exposed to the international record, yeah, this, you know, yeah. and uh, rights and other things, yeah. bro, this, this would have been something different. I mean, if it was today, I just said this to somebody like a few years ago. If it was today, I'm going to have my own Nyamba company. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm going to import Nyambas and, and brand it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Worry. Yeah, because now we know the extra business that comes with the music. Then we were young or is you know, we just wanna do it for fun. We don't even see a lot of money behind it at then by then, you know. Yeah. But thank God the knowledge came and then we, we spoke with people that yeah. understands how branding comes with music and that we learned from that age. And then now we didn't sing Nyamba, 
but we made some songs that are giving us extra money, not even just on the stage. And Alhamdulillah, today I have a song called Netetu. Netetu. And there's a lot of things mentioned in that song and see what we're going to do with that. Netetu. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about Netetu. We have to, just a few minutes before we go for a break. But how do you keep yourself in this level? Because your music and your name has always been there. It doesn't yeah. matter who brings in a new song or new video. Yeah. Whenever an artist wants to do anything, mm -hmm. ANC is part of it. Yeah. You know, sustainability is something difficult, yeah. especially in our part of Africa. But you still keep that momentum up. How do you do that? Man, I had an interview just yesterday and someone was asking the same thing. I mean, um, I don't think there's magic to it. Being relevant in, in this art, in this industry is tough. I mean, but the thing is, people focus too much on the next person and forget about themselves. You know, the focus you put on other people, when you put in yourself or on yourself, bro, you always keep going. Like, let's say today, ST, hot, gizul, hot, attack, hot. Everybody just want to be attack, gizul, and ST. When you want to be that, then who are you? Yeah. You forget yourself, you forget right? Yourself. Right. You get, you get inspired. It's nice. It's beautiful. To do. And I see young artists like gizul, attack, and I'm like, bro, beautiful. Like, we've been grinding for the industry to... to to cater for young artists like this and we're beautiful brothers are filling up the stadiums it's nice you know what i mean look at yourself and say what is your strength and what is your weakness i'm never gonna leave my dancehall music because something else is popping no dancehall is what made me i'm gonna try other genres right because we you can be versatile you don't know who who else is gonna like some things right I've made different kind of genres. I've have I have I've had hit songs in different genres: in hip hop, in R and B, in trap, in in drill, in dancehall, in reggae. I have songs across, right? But my signature is dancehall. I stick on to that, and that's something that keeps me going. If if any time there's a big dancehall concert in Gambia, you have to book ENC, ENC all oh the yeah. time. Oh yeah. <laughs> you have to you have to draw your lane. You have to you have to. You have to make your stamp on the rock stone, and then that's you. And then focus on that. Don't don't worry about who is ahead of you and who is behind you. Thank God you are here. You were talented. Focus on that. People are not sleeping. Oh yeah. That's my ideology. Yeah, and see, you have had it. I told mm. you today you're gonna have life so you know <laughs> so full of life. You know, you know. Yeah. He, he grew up from the ghetto youth, so he yeah. knows how ghetto youth lives. You are watching THD Online TV, Gun Celebrity. So here. Every week, um, we have uh, artists that we bring to you mm -hmm. to explain themselves, tell you their story. And I mm -hmm. think you have already been inspired yet, and we have not gone to the last or the ending part of the show. In fact, we are going for a quick break. Uh, enjoy the ENC, then we back. I try and in her own college junkie, or look for your nana and little Miss Cafe too. Me head hotter than a volcano, I mean, no, no, Ken Makeno, and so do Felon Buluko Pandero, and it in bar pop can go champagne. Don't control time, make love, the male control time, make love. In a salvo look on pem, and I fell in temper code or break la watcha. All the matter of them are free and I chat with every day we arise above. Welcome back to the show, um, Step Up Gam Celebrity, with your DJ, you know, your dancehall king in Gambia, ENC. Afeba. Nete tu. Afeba. Ooh. Flo leka sun kang, nete tu. Fuck nete tu. You know, I, 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 I saw this nete tu on social media, I said, well, you see, mm. when people are thinking of something else, he's going to come with something else. <laughs> nete tu. Break it down to me and my, my, my viewers, you know. I mean, let's <laughs> say, flow like oh, oh, I mean, we have oh, different oh. kind of flows. I keep saying, style is the monkey. But the flow like sunkan is coming to you. Flow is yeah. the same thing. The flow is 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 the same thing. Me head hotter than a volcano. Ngami no do kill my keno. Dan solo felem buluko bandero. Hani bimba pop kanko champagne. Huh? Dol control time make la. Juma le control. <laughs> 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 Yo, you see that is it, man? You know, 
Net a two. Mm -hmm. Every song has a reason of coming. Yeah. You know, you just talk about the number cowards. Yeah. Every young, you know, chap there sitting yeah. down here will now believe in what they have. Yeah. And feel proud of what they exactly. have. Exactly. You have just break it down where the yeah. number cowards came. Yeah. I'm so Net a two also has something there. Yeah. Break it down. I mean, like, um, when m many times in the music, um, many many artists want to do songs against someone to feel happy. It happens, especially in the in the controversial area of music. I mean, in the hip hop and in the dancehall. I'm like, you can also sing songs about your own ideas and feel happy yeah. because you create your idea from grassroots. When I was creating Yamba Kawas, it just came up, right? Mm -hmm. I did a song. I did a song called Wonjo and Ginger in 2011, mm -hmm. like. Because I was like, bro, I'm, I, work, I work in the clubs as a DJ. I mm -hmm. see a different kind of drinks, even mm -hmm. though I'm not into drinks that much, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I want to do something local. I did Wonju and Ginger. I'm always that guy that want to bring something back to the local table. Either by title or by just the vibe of it. You know what I mean? Then I did the December Energy. Mm -hmm. And today is the Netetu. Netetu is like, um, I'm a lyrical artist. Mm -hmm. I use a lot of lyrics. I use a lot of creativity and writing skills in my... I, one song can contain like three songs if yeah. it's in other genres. But I don't mind because I want to really go deep in my, in my catalog or in my, in my lyrics bag to mm -hmm. put it out, right? So I'm like, um, I have different kind of flows. But in the flow, man, the love flow, the more flow, man, the flow, the sun can come in You know what I mean? Yeah. So the, 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 the word netetu itself is like, um, is like the icebreaker of the song. Yeah. Because when you hear netetu, you want to hear what's netetu. What? Exactly. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like so it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's what's going to draw you into the music it's, itself. It's going to show you my lyrical capability, how I flow on the beat and the story I put across. You know what I mean? At some point in life, um, in the song, like the second verse, I was telling you, um, I slept in Banjul and wake up in a Germany. This yeah. is the life. I took a plane in Finland and touched down in Italy. Where is the line? Then I talk about Napoli to Stuttgart, you know, the thing shot. Me step up in Malta, you know, me, I'm a place that, you know what I mean? I mentioned cities in Europe that, that really gave me great shows, you know. I mean, some might, someone might think you're the niggas bragging because you went to the cities. No, but I'm saying... I, I mentioned the cities because of they showed me real love when I flew to them to do a show. You know what I mean? Like there are some cities in Europe when I when I got there, bro, I felt like I was in Brickham. Wow. It, the, the love was mad. Places like Malta, Napoli in Italy, like the Stuttgart. You know, they like the bro, music, bro. Bro, yeah. the love I received from there was massive. I feel like I was in Brickham, Basse, Serekunda here. Like the love was mad, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I have to mention these things in a song. I mean, I talk about my realities, my real life stories. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. How it went down, exactly. Yeah. And the first verse of this song I'm talking about, to live a happy life is an everyday thing. My man and my role, we are elevating. You know, see, the energy I give them is a beating. General steppings, no play plating. We don't give up like we are celebrating. The songs, them are fire like them shock electric. When the album drop, them are go epileptic. Big man thing, the basic. Na stylo, commando, lyric soul, man bando, na break all, no bando, dan solo, jam bando, kilometer body in the night, jam be. You know what I mean? Like, na break all, man bando, jam bando, jam bando. That's what I'm saying, man. You know what I mean? So, we, 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 how we feel the Mandinka and the, all of the oh, English yeah. and the Patwa, you know what I mean? That's this, these things, these things is a big strength for me. It's not easy to do this in the music, you know what I mean? But, um, tanga is easy for me to do. Sometimes we used to do songs in in a hundred percent patwa, yes. but we got to a point where we can actually take a five percent patwa here, ten percent English, twenty percent Mandinka, some percentage all of, and then our fans feels good to hear, you know, I mean themselves in different ways we expressing ourselves, and that's a big strength for me. Um, over the years, Netetu happened to be one of my fastest rising songs in history of my career. I mean, when I did Nyambakawas was fast. Yeah. When I did Boom Dagadak was super fast yeah. but netto yeah. two came differently bro yeah. i did this and the tiktok people took it <laughs> every day i wake up to a new tiktok <laughs> video and i'm like what <laughs> if i don't want to watch it i was like is this already released it's ah i'm like yeah uh, no because everybody is talking about the netto two yeah and i still how what is what, what where are we now with it is it done yeah the, the official video is out few days ago and it's getting the views and it's out there. It's like ready now. It's on my go on my Facebook and Sateba is waiting, eh? Uh, hey, Sateba will come in twenty fifth of <laughs> this month. The, imagine the whole ministerium say Nete too. Nete too. <laughs> 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 that one is gonna be something different. Let's talk about this European tour because you mm. know, 
Um, I was following your development in Europe, and mm -hmm. I got to you know believe that you know not only Gambian life, your style of yeah. you know music, yeah. because the city that you are talking about, these yeah. cities we are very, so welcoming, you know. Yeah. You know they feel the vibes just like they're in Banjul. Yeah. You know, why is it difficult to be ENC? I mean, a photocopy of ENC is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, like I remember a couple of years ago, I heard some artists say. Um, I'm lucky because we, we have, my manager was having a studio, you know, G-File have been yeah, man managing yeah. me. So they said I had access to studio, that why, that's why I stand out. Some said no, because he's on the radio, that's so why I stand out. Some said no, because he's a DJ, like people always find a way. Yes. Well, all those are a part of me, all, all those are, are, are my hustle, right? Yeah. But here's the thing, I focus and I dedicate to what I do, I commit to it 100%. If you're doing something, do, give it your all or nothing. Do it at your best or leave it, yeah. you know what I mean? And I focus too much on the music. I focus too much on what I can do. I think um, that's, that's the edge I have. I mean, I believe that there's a lot of talent coming from the Gambia. A lot of talent. But sometimes many of us get confused because we want to follow what is trending. You know what I mean? Trend is good, but trend might stay for only one week yeah. and fade out. It might stay for one year, fade out. But you are still alive. You're not faded. You're alive. So just be you and do what you can do. I mean, um, I know dancehall music is very popular outside. Yeah. In the diaspora, dancehall is big oh, outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know dancehall is big in Europe. I know dancehall is big across the world. You know what I mean? But we don't really have um, that dancehall presence by a Gambian outside. It's tough, you know? Thanks to Rebelo de Ricola. He's oh, representing yeah. reggae outside there and a few other artists. It's amazing to see. Yeah. We want to see more of that. You know what I mean? Um, that's why when my European tour came up, it was easy for me for the shows to go well yeah. and the performance to be nice because of I think people were anticipating to see that dancehall moment, a dancehall artist to give them that dancehall energy from the yeah. Gambia, fresh from Africa, fresh from Gambia, oh, fresh. Yeah. I have people traveling four hours, eight hours to attend the show in Europe and that, that alone makes me want to cry, bro. Yeah, bro. I met some white people that I don't know them, they don't know me, they only know my name on YouTube and Instagram. They took four hours train from city to city just wow. to attend one show. And I'm like, oh, what? Wow. I'm like, wow. what? So you get to know the music is huge out there. I never knew that was going to happen any time, bro. But I mean, they mentioned songs that I, I was never thinking of performing. But then, you know, the music travels far, bro. Yeah. And thanks to all the DJs, even if one time that you ever played the music, thank you. Because, you know, I mean, that's how music travels too. You know, I mean, people go to a party and, you know, I mean, DJ play songs and they like what they hear. They go on YouTube and, and f I look it up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, those things work. They, we have a lot of gambling DJs know, outside how, now. How did this talk come about? Because, you know, there are many artists who have been trying a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. They've hit the AVC in Gambia, yeah. try to get, you know, those connections outside Gambia. Yeah. But it was difficult. ENC, you know, been working behind the scene mm -hmm. closely. And yeah. now, you know. The international need ENC instead of ENC going for the international. I I mean like I, I I mean the consistency helps me a lot because um, when people see you doing great, sometimes everything don't, don't just have to happen at once. Sometimes just keep doing, and people might not see the work that time. You're gonna be there for the next five, ten years. Yeah. One day they'll say, "Yo, but that artist, he's been here for like and still there." Like they start to look at your work and the backtrack and they look at your track record, like yo. I think that yeah. that's what happened to me. I, I think I can say that's what happened to me, you know what I mean? And then I was booked as an artist from home here. I didn't yeah. travel to Europe then to start doing shows. I was here, booked here, get my visa from here, go there, work, and then come back. Yeah. And that was a big blessing for me, which is very rare for a government artist to yeah. have. I did over 15 cities in, in one tour, wow. and that was, that was huge, you know? And I, I wish... Every other artist have the opportunity to explore this market. Yeah. I wish our gamers out there and other people can just collaborate and work with gamers artists back home. People love us. People love our music outside. Yeah. The access is just is just too hard. And if this video when goes viral one day, and if the councillors and the embassies are watching this, Gambia have a lot more talent to offer, man. And um, it's hard to travel as a Gambian youth. Yeah. Please allow our, consider our youths and give them visas to go and work. Yeah, fans want to see them and they want to work for them and entertain the world and come back to this country and, and, and build whatever we have to build for our music industry. People need to have access and it's right. important. Mm -hmm. They went to Europe, lock up there, mm -hmm. in Gambia, netted to each other. 
making, it's in the making. You know, it's already there. The video is released already. Mm. You know, so some love. You know, like I said, we have the potential. Yeah. We have artists here. You know, you just need to, you know, work hard. You yeah. know, that is where AMC, ENC is here. Yeah. Finally, let's talk about your show, mm -hmm. June 25th. Yeah. It's very important yeah. for ENC yeah. and dancehall music. Yeah. You know, you've been you've been supporting many artists on their day. Mm -hmm. What are you expecting? I know Brika Monkoli. Yeah, Sati Ba. Ajila. Man, they, <laughs> Brika Mon, man, like everybody be saying, Brika Mon people, the way they support no other place oh, in yeah. Gambia does. We are unique. Our people love us and we love them equally. That's why we always take the shows to them. You know what I mean? Yeah. We never miss out. We give it. We give them back the energy that they give us, and they kept us going for a long, for a long time. If there was no Brikama, man, maybe you wouldn't have known me. We gathered the energy from them and export it, and they've been representing all the time. So on the twenty fifth, it's gonna be some, it's some, it's gonna be some electrifying moment, like throughout. Um, we bringing everybody to Brikama that day. Yeah. You know what I mean? So come and and all and, and, roads and, to Satiba. Satiba, traffic go, <laughs> traffic go your block. Traffic go your block. Right? Not, not <laughs> Come everybody, we're gonna have a great time. It's a dancehall concert, and yeah. dancehall concerts are, yeah. are lit. Oh yeah, oh you yeah. Know what I mean, the energy, yeah. I mean, the sound yeah. system, the lightning, the environment is always dope. ENC's concert is always colorful, and anytime, man, anytime we go to Box Bar, it's it's amazing, bro. Yeah. The last concert we did there was was mad, and thanks to all my people that are on the journey with me, I appreciate all the artists that are supporting as well, all the platforms, Haji. Thank you for having well, me here. Well, yes, we need to thank you because mm -hmm. I must make this confession here. You know, we called him just yesterday mm -hmm. to tell him that, hey, we need you in the studio. Mm -hmm. He said, just book me. I'll, I'll be there today. Yeah. And he's here on time. So, you know, mm -hmm. this is what we, we can do as, you know, partners. We have yeah. to come here and give you the, the support. But yeah. we also appreciate this love that yeah. you have from THD. Yeah. And here is your home, you know. Yeah. We'll follow the letter too. We'll be in the camera <laughs> box bar. Inshallah. You know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna join the, you know, the party. Inshallah. Now. And Inshallah. we hope this is going to be one of the best you know, Inshallah. Seen, Inshallah. You know, you have final thing to say Inshallah. Your, your I mean, you know. keep following on social media, ENC Gambia. That's my social media name on all platforms. ENC Gambia. Keep following. And yo, subscribe to this channel too. We're here. THD.